Hey guys, this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to Iron to Diamond. We return in promo still in Platinum 4. So we're either going to Platinum 3 or Platinum 2, depending if our MMR is good enough to get us there. We are jungling, jingle jangle, and we'll try to have a good time. You know, why not? Oh, just fair warning, I'm a little bit tired. I watched Game of Thrones last night. And I went to bed about an hour after it ended, so about 4am, and then I woke up at half 7 in the morning for some reason. No idea why. I did fall back asleep, but you, you never get a great... You never sleep amazing when uh, you fall back asleep, in my opinion. God, it didn't want to ban Riven then. It was like, ban it! God damn it! Ban! Die! <laughs> right, it won't nerf you, so we have to ban you all the time. All right, we're Jingle Jangles. Uh, we'll we'll do a donated pick, because why not get through them? Again, the series is, you know, we're nearing the end in a way. Um, and if, if, again, in the back of my head, I'm always thinking, what am I going to do after this? And I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about it a little bit closer um, when that time comes. But I think just focusing on the main account a bit more might be something. Um, like... Um, Maybe, on average, two episodes of Climb to Master a day. And then also, like, we can then start doing, like, Challenger Spectates again and stuff like that. Um, because, again, the, the main account's actually doing quite well at the moment. If you don't follow it perfectly, but my, my main account is, like, Diamond 250 LP. Something like that. Also, what the hell is the enemy team comp? Um, there could be an argument happening between these two, you know? Uh, so our comp... Honestly, we're going to go Sejuanio, man. I could go, like, I know Evelyn is what people probably want because we got the new rare Evelyn skin, but this is the type of game that we have no idea what the hell the enemy team's doing. So if I could just be, like, a, a front for my team, like, stand behind Brom type of thing, but for jungle, I think that's the best option. Um, because we don't really know what's going on. Okay, if the game goes through, uh, let's get into it. We're playing Sejuanio in the jungle. All right, welcome to porofessor.gg, and uh, yeah, it's a nuded top and a Cho'Gath AP mid, so you guys know me, this should be basically a free game when it comes to team comp. You know, we, we've been kind of proven time and time again in certain aspects of like when we've been against Udis, how to beat them. We were against that AP Cho'Gath a little while ago as Fiora, and we just completely took over the game because he went AP. So yeah, based on comp, this should be pretty easy, but then, you know, it's not always on comp that makes you win or lose. Sometimes it's about the players. Players are arguably more important than the champions that they're on. And what you can see here, this player is doing pretty good with Cho'Gath. This player is negative win rate with Xerath. Uh, main band is a Riven main on my own team. Wait, I banned Oh, they didn't hover. That was hovering Vlad. That's a bit weird. Uh, negative win rate, positive win rate, duo Q is that. So, yeah. Honestly, like, where I'm going to be looking to gank a lot is, like, top and mid. So I'm hoping my bot lane can just survive. They should be able to. Someone's saying Cho mid is pretty good now. No. It's nothing to do with him getting buffed or not. His kit is what is bad for full AP. So, no. Maybe in bronze it's okay, but like the higher rating you go, the more that's just going to get punished. Don't fight an Udyr at level 1. That won't end well for you. Honestly, she could die if she tries to play this cute. Cho'Gath comes here, knocks her up or something, you know. It could happen. Fight or make room for those who this skin though, what the hell? Minions I'm on a pig. <laughs> Okay, sure. Um, yeah. <coughs> right. So if we get mid-game, I think we win. We just need to survive the lane phases, pretty much. Like, Zareth, in theory, like, Zareth should be able to, like, hold them off quite well later as well, basically, by himself. Like, people give crazy pulls in this rating. I know it's weird to be complaining about a jungle pull, but, like, there is such a thing as investing too much time for your jungler, by the way. I wonder if I can fight Vi in the early game. Uh, did Fiora survive? Yeah, she survived the all-in. That's all you gotta do against Ude Top. It's the most arguably straightforward champion in the game. Well, it's up there with Garen and stuff, obviously, but... Yeah.
Is this not being contested? No. I guess they went to the other one. Okay. Um, I could go straight to there, but I, I'm, I'm just going to in my head think that that crab's gone. So I'm just going to continue jungling for XP to not get too far behind if it is gone. Again, it might not be, but... Sometimes you can't take the, the gamble, because if you take the gamble and the gamble doesn't pay off, like, you should get really far behind us in jungle nowadays. Like, the jungle deficits are crazy. Oi, oi, oi. I could have just stood in there, I guess, but whatever. I'll go top lane in a second. Don't die. This is warded. That's warded. Like, based on the um, body language, that to me seems warded. First nice. She did not have vision there, did she? They have vision everywhere? What's going on? He's free ganks for the rest of the lane phase, pretty much. He just has to be careful of getting ganked by right now, I'd say. That's Zerif. Is Talia support viable? Uh, it's okay, but it's not, like, godly. I'd probably just say play Brand. We'll do a much better job. Super taters. Thanks so much, dude. Okay. Is everything warded? Oh, he just warded that. Nice. Again, I flashed for that because I knew he didn't have flash. Oh, he's a rager! Ooh, Chad. Again, I shouldn't be surprised. Ooh, did top. It is infernal, that's my only like thing in the back of my head. Because if I go top a lot, I might be giving up infernal and I don't want to do that. What I might try and do. Honestly, Fiora should start beating this guy nearly by herself. Like, level 6, she should beat him pretty easily. All she's got to do is use the parry on the, his stun, and she should be great. Um, I want to try and get level 6, and then at level 6, make a play in bot lane, do Infernal, and then just go back to top lane or mid. I just don't want to give up the Infernal. They are oom. Um. Are they going back? Uh, never mind. <coughs> Enemy team will be going back right now. Or Fiora could just freeze it. Again, she outscales him completely, so... Why not just freeze? Mm. The only thing that that Zerath is going to have to be careful for is the fact that, like, when he uses Q, obviously it slows him down. That might be watered. Yeah, poke him down, buddy. Just be careful. If, like, the, the key thing with this game, right? I'll say right now. If we be careful. There we go. There we go, Fiora. Let's go. Let's go, Fiora. That's it. Again, you've outscaled him. <laughs> Dude is not a top laner. 
Uh, as I was saying, all this game is, if we want to win this game, it's be careful and we basically win for free. And he just mucked up completely. God damn it, Zareth. You gotta just stay away from an AP Cho, that's it. Cho Cho'Gath doesn't do anything if he can't get to you, right? So just stay away. <laughs> Don't put yourself in a position. Um, I got nothing to farm. I'm so close to level 6 though, that's the annoying thing. Vice top lane. Honestly, like, let me just get a little bit of XP here. Is Zareth lit literally saying that that's broken? Oh my god, that makes me worried him. Holy moly, he can't be serious. It's risky to Infernal right now, but we can try. Oh, whoa, whoa. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, I don't want to do it. All right, that worked out. That was like an all, that was like an all-in play by the enemy team that they kind of have to do it because like they are falling behind and now they're even more behind. Again, their comp should fall apart really easily, so. Right now we're kind of doing more or less the perfect Sedge game. I love this Udyr man. He's raging like a good and he's playing Udyr top. <laughs> man, people don't think when they play League. Uh, wish I so so much, dude. God damn. People are crazy. Uh, me. Okay, I'm gonna go do- no. Ooh, you're so close to die there. He should actually be getting his tier 2 boots ASAP, because you just gotta dodge the Q and you're completely fine. Goddamn positioning. Mm. Let's go for your- uh... Uh, they might be doing it with Cho'Gath, by the way. There is a chance right now. They're not doing it? Okay. They have to have vision here, though, right? Oh, really? Okay. She flashed. So that was a lie right there. Cool. Again, try to only ping summoners if you 100% know that summoner did get used, because otherwise it just leads to confusion. a bit. They're gonna wanna try and do this, I'm pretty sure. I will the Frown Lord.
god. Are we getting any help? Couldn't get there. And that's the type of thing that just really annoys me. <sighs> Whatever. Should have the Talia knock up. Oh my god, you adult. Of course, you adult. I thought you would have used it by now. Talia will get him. And then. Okay. Not worth for us though. We got Infernal. That sucks. No spoils for you. Turret plating. Um wait, is he building a frozen heart against Fiora? That would be weird. They should really be trying to get that. Yeah, that would be good. We're just hoping that the next dragon after this basically is Infernal so we can match the scaling. Again, our comp is better than theirs anyway, but you don't want to, like, give up scaling for nothing. Whoa, Caitlyn's got two and a half thousand gold. And Zeref does. Oh, my God. That's so much gold to be just holding on to. Oh, I thought she was about to ult. Nice chogi boy. <clears throat> Gotta maintain farm. Like we're even with Vaya at the moment. That's quite good for a Sejuani. Is AP Chogath a thing? Not really. It's a low it's a thing in like lower tiers because like Chogath is very basic mechanically, and it does a lot of damage, but, like, if you just dodge his, his Q, it takes away the whole champion. To me, AP Chogath is basically, like, in a weird way, a worse version than AP Malphite. Damn. She randomly turned... Ah, oh, that's, like... Oh. Oh, I tried to get there. God damn, this Chogath. I got that slow. Vi's doing rift. He has ult again, right? I need a bit more damage and I'm fine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's being done. I don't think we can do anything about it. I wouldn't get there in time, so we may as well just keep going for the tower. What about AP Nautilus? That's stupid as well. They're just cheap. Like, what you have to understand is when these new cheese picks come around, a lot of the time they're only good because people don't know how to play against them. The moment that people figure it out, their usefulness goes down quite fast. I will not tolerate weakness. So, yeah. Happy Easter, everyone. Well, it was yesterday. The chocolate bun got it, man. The chocolate bun got it. Your likes on social media wasn't enough to save it. Um, ba -bum, ba -bum. Yeah, there's someone in Twitch that's saying, someone said Happy Easter, and someone's like, no religious talk. One, it's not your Twitch chat, so thanks very much. Don't tell people what to do in my Twitch chat. Secondly, Easter's not really religious anymore. It's more like a, again, those type of holidays have just moved into a nice, like, family gathering, which is cool. Did we really not do enough damage then? Wow, that joke gets pathetic. <laughs> wow. Oof. That was scary. Wait. Oh, Zareth stayed around a long time. I think Zareth should have gone back when he could have. And you guys should go back. What a weird build. What the hell? 
Like Frozen Heart doesn't even affect Fiora that badly because she just goes for vital points and then eventually will go for an all in after. I think we're giving up Cloud Dragon again. Again, two dragons in a row we're giving up because people just aren't ready for them. That sucks. Oh, they're not doing it. Okay, maybe we can get it. I think Talia's looking to, like, one-shot. God, they're all so squishy, the enemy team. Like, they look squishy. It's a Trick 2G build. Yeah, but the thing with Trick, he'll actually do the build when it's a good thing to do. Like, that would work against certain matchups, but again, Fiora's not an attack speed based champ, right? She's vitals, so she doesn't need all that. Like, Frozen Heart isn't going to affect her when she's just going for vital points, so it's really dumb to rush it. <laughs> so bad! Like, what? The thing as well, you're an AP mid lane carry and your character model is massive. <laughs> so you get hit by everything as well. It's not... Uh... Why do you think every like mid lane mage is really small and dinky so they don't get hit by stuff? I'm dead. Oh my god, I'm getting ulted and everything? Okay. Wait, you didn't hit... Oh, she survived. Alright, then kite back. Yes. Just kite back. Wait, where's Fiora? She did not move. God damn. Fiora doesn't move. <sighs> she might live. It's fine. Again, if she, like, takes that and goes, okay, I'll just group from now on, cool. If she doesn't go, I'm going to continue split push, then not cool. <laughs> All right. Come get the blue. We're in kind of, like, zero poking territory now. Like, he's not doing great, but he'll still do enough against the enemy team comp that warrants blue for him, for sure. Like, if I, like, again, I play Xerath, if I wasn't given blue this game as Xerath against that team comp, I'd be annoyed. <laughs> I'd be like, really? You're alone as Caitlyn, dude? Like, what? That's not gonna go well. Okay, thankfully there wasn't, like, Vi top, but holy moly. There should have been. Ooh. Guys! This is fine. Good to be a wall, man. Getting a little bit messy once again because, you know, engaging when people were alone and all that. We should be able to do this. The only thing we gotta be careful for really is Chom. Uh, Chom? Cho'gath Nom. No, 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 no. I'm way too squishy for this randomly. Yeah, we should just back out. I guess I don't really have resistances, so. Again, Barons do lose you more games than it wins you games, so. I don't want to become part of that statistic. Okay. Do I think Vlad is OP? Hmm. Yes and no. He's He does a lot of damage and he can get to late game really safe. But that's just like what his champion is about. There's a Vyra right there. Oh, wait, she went mid lane? Holy moly, she went mid lane. Wait, what are you doing? God, this for how fed the Fiora is, like, she actually is doing really bad. 
She's doing basically everything wrong. Like, I'm not even kidding. Uh, we're going to lose this game again. Please just group. It's five. Like, this Fiora is going to cost us the game. Uh, love it. I need vision. They're doing it, man. It's like Caitlyn serious right now. Like... These people, I, I, you can't win. Like the Fiora, maybe. Oh my god, if we can get this, this would be fantastic. Keep them in the pit. Okay, the enemy team's thrown, never mind. Jesus Christ, this game! Pladio, thanks, dude. Like, the weird thing I'll say, the higher rating we're going, the more frustrating I'm actually getting with people making really weird plays. No I just voted to surrender because it just doesn't seem that these people want to win. Pretty much that simple. Like, if you're engaging 1v4 when the two people aren't nearby, that's a difference. Like, in this situation, when Fiora was bot lane, we got engaged on. We didn't engage. Where Fiora went in. Completely different. Ugh. This is very frustrating. <sighs> Again, if we just keep grouping as five, I'm not even kidding, we can't lose this game. Just based on how champions work. Rare sight of Huz semi tilted. It's just expectations that I have and then them being let down. That's what it is. When you're in like this MMR, the, the game is supposed to be starting to get better, and you've got someone like the Fiora engaging 1v4 and then like saying something back to you, like, you know, you said to group, but you finish your jungle. It's like, but what? And then she's being alone. It's like, it's just very bad. Like, it's surprising how bad stuff is. Like, there's no point grouping down in, or going bot lane by yourself. And then raging, when like oh my god, she just doesn't understand. Like there's no point being there when no one is there. So just wait until people get there with you. Like no, my teammates were still in base, so it's like why are you bot lane all the way down there by yourself? Apart from you just not understanding. Again, it's literally just her not understanding what the hell to do, which is really boring for somebody that's in this rating. Thanks, Cola, for gifting the sub, dude. Just get rid of the pleb. She's making all the mistakes herself, by the way. There's nothing to do with us. I didn't want to fully commit for that. I don't want to, like, use a big ultimate on uh, Sona, so my team could just end up killing that. And now watch, we're now grouping. Watch Fiora, ladies and gentlemen. Will she group? Probably not. We got the tower. That's what I wanted. That wasn't that fight, by the way, was never about full engaging. But now she's the one not, not grouping. It's like brilliant. Like, everything the Fiora is doing is just wrong. <laughs> and again, hopefully you guys understand that. Hopefully you guys can see it's like, okay, so she does she goes bot lane, brames us from not grouping when it's just not a group situation that people are too far away. And now it is a group situation and she's not grouping. She's like on opposite day, man. Now she groups. Oh, I got mined. I didn't see the mines. But yeah, you can kind of now see like the enemy team comp just has nothing to deal with. Like, group? They have an Udyr that's just running around literally not achieving anything. And all we've got to do with this comp is kite back. You've got a Caitlyn and a Zerath. That's it. Sejuani, I'm here just to, like, in case they go on, people, just be that threat. Should 
die. Perfecto. So yeah, honestly, this was a really straightforward game. I just got frustrated. Again, apologies for frustration, but when you're watching that, like, like Fiora make all these mistakes and blame everything apart from, like, herself and being, you know, there for no actual reason, it's annoying. Like, it is annoying. There we go. Ooh. And again, someone to chat. We're not flaming. I'm not tight. The Vi doesn't know. The Fiora sorry, doesn't know. I'm saying the only reason I say this stuff is to point it out to you guys watching. End of. That's the only. If if I was not recording, I'd say nothing. I'd keep quiet because it doesn't achieve anything. I'm just saying it out loud so you guys can see like why the Fiora was making those mistakes. She goes bot lane says why you guys aren't grouping because no one is around so back off then we are grouping a bot lane and she's not with us so it's just pointing out mistakes like that and if you can't accept those then probably solo queue isn't for you because you'd have to be very sensitive to think that's flaming uh well done caitlin oh yeah we also find out where we get promoted if we go just to plat three or plat two hmm i honestly don't know the game had I'm going to just say plat 3, because the game actually probably averaged plat 3, to be honest. Let's find out. Plat 3. Yeah, the game averaged plat 3, so we weren't going to skip. The first promotion series that we were in, I reckon that probably would have got us to plat platinum 2, but also we lost that promo. But yeah, based on comp, that game was free, because of their team comp, just had nothing. AP Cho'Gath mid, Udyr top, it just had nothing like that was going to win them the game. Um... Like, if you even try to make, like, oh, if Udyr won top and maybe split push, but then even when we group as five, we'll be faster than the enemy team than he would be by himself, so not, that wouldn't even win them the game. Like, the enemy team just didn't have stuff. And again, these three champions work well together, it's just they were let down by their solo lanes. Again, I'm not calling the players bad, I'm just saying their picks are bad, AP Cho'Gath and Udyr. Maybe if they only had one of them, it could have been okay, but it's the fact that they had both of them that's, like, that's not very scary. Uh, we go 0 3 16. Honestly, that's a great KDA for Alawi. I'm not a carry. I'm a pure tank frontliner. And, you know, we got the most assists in the game. So that works out for me quite nicely. Uh, promoted, obviously, we got a B. And then damage done. Dealing. Obviously, I'm, I went pure tank Sedge, so I was never doing... Wait, did I say Alawi? Uh, Sejuani jungle. Sorry, I'm really tired. Sejuani jungle. Uh, went pure tank, so I wasn't doing anything about damage. Uh, you can see there's the Zerath poke. There's his lane comparison. Fiora's lane comparison, Caitlyn's lane comparison. So this game was just ease. Again, there's a full damage jungler versus a full tank jungler. She wasn't that far ahead of me. So, yeah. And again, people saying Cho'Gath's damage not bad. He's probably not bad because Zareth kept getting hit by his Qs and stuff every now and then. And also in an AoE, the one thing I'd say you can't deny a Cho'Gath, like his Q kind of sucks because it's really too easy to avoid. But his W, even as tank, by the way, is really good. An AoE silence like that, that's a big cone. That's a great ability and does quite a bit of damage, but you just don't really need to do AP. Again, it's the type of thing that I've spoken about before is like, why would you play Pike mid when it does the same job as Pike support? Just let a mid laner do that job and you can do your job as Pike support. Same execution style. Same thing says for AP Cho'Gath. Like you as Cho'Gath as a champion is there to knock up, to silence and to execute with your ult. It's the same thing with AP or tank, but tank's just more useful. So... Anyway, that's going to be it. Again, sorry for the frustration, but it just comes out of me when you see stuff like that for Aura. Um, yeah, like, subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.